Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back to another FabFitFun review box with me. Actually, it's two boxes. One was sent to me because of, you know, summer festival. They wanted to send me things that they thought were summer festival-ish. And so I got an extra box this time. I am a FabFitFun partner, which means that they send me the box for free so that I can review it for you, but they're not paying me to say what I'm saying. So I'm not sponsored. If for some reason you've never heard of FabFitFun, you don't know what it is. It is a seasonal, so four times a year uh, box that you can pay for either annually, and there's benefits to that, or seasonally, and you'll get to choose from six full size, no trial size in this box, in the categories of beauty, fashion, wellness, home products, and this is an excellent way to try things. In addition to your membership to FabFitFun, you'll also get other perks like entry to flash sales. That's really good because you can get up to 70% off of things like Prada, Fenty, Coach, you know, just to name a few. And I hear you saying, well, Mary, what does it cost? All right, well, the seasonal membership is $69.99 per quarter and the annual membership is 219 per year which comes out to be $55 a box so you're actually saving money to do the annual and you also get other perks like you're going to get in first and there's one category here where it's a good example where the choices that I'm going to tell you about and that's category four there's actually a product that I have that isn't shown there because they probably ran out but they substituted it with something that I really love and I'm not sorry I have so there you go that's how that works I do want to refer to my email here because it looks like my code has changed if you get an annual subscription and you'll get a gift with purchase if you do that use the code glitzy gift i'm putting that right here in all caps if you're going to get the seasonal box then the code is glitzy and they're having a promo for 20 percent off your first box i'll leave all the links to everything below in the description box i think what i'm going to do is i'm just going to tell you in choice one the one i picked okay and the one they sent me for that summer festival box and then we can discuss at the end what i would pay for all those things because everything except for one thing is part of this whole thing. <laughs> Makes sense? Lespec's Velodrome sunglasses in black, retailing at $55. Then we have another pair, Lespec's Dynamite sunglasses in tobacco, and those also retail for $55. Business and Pleasure Co. Cooler Tote Bag. In the stuff they sent me, it said it retailed for $900. <laughs> that had to be a misprint. So I went and looked online. What I think that the price is actually supposed to be is $119. <laughs> Vacation, the brand, Vacation, Vacation Fragrance, retailing at $60. Montsi Swim Ally Bucket Bag for $78. Beach Riot Alexa Top, and they have this in three different sizes. Small, medium, large, extra large, and plus. Dr. Dennis Gross Skincare Advanced Retinol and Furulic Overnight Texture Renewal Peel. Wow, what a mouthful. That retails for $42. Jonathan Adler Cocktail Shaker retailing at $50. Beauty Stack Cosmetics, Universal C Skin Refiner Brightening Vitamin C Serum, <sighs> retailing at $85. The thing that I chose was the Vacation, okay, and I actually went to Ulta and smelled this first because, I don't know, there's a lot of perfumes I don't like. This fragrance is supposed to smell like their sunscreens and stuff like that. What it says on the bottle is Vacation, like, you know, all I ever wanted. How did you get away? <laughs> no. And it says on it, scent of the world famous Vacation Sunscreen Company. This, as I understand it, smells like their sunscreens, which is a coconut kind of summery, beachy kind of smell. It's been a couple hours since I put this on today and I went up to Shy Guy and I said, hey, what do I smell like? Because he would typically love this scent. And he said, flowers? <laughs> I'm like, flowers? So I don't know. Uh, to me, it smells like a coconut beachy kind of summer scent. The summer festival box that they sent me had the sunglasses in tobacco. Shy Guy really likes these sunglasses on me. That's funny because he hates my coach sunglasses. <laughs> I think that the shape of the coach sunglasses are better than this, but he likes these on me. These are the ones in tobacco. If you want to know how cool you'll be, no, not smoking, <laughs> but wearing tobacco. 
Amika Mirror Ball Shampoo and Conditioner retailing at $52. Volition Getaway Glow Gradual Tan Firming Facial Serum $46. Volition Getaway Glow Gradual Tan Body Moisturizer $46. Fun Boy Pink Waves Towel $49. Lost Plus Wander Passport Wallet $40. Lost Plus Wonder Frequent Flyer Travel Pillow, $60. The Bokes Glass Vase, retailing at $32. By Chari Freshwater Pearl Lariat, $54. So what I chose probably wouldn't surprise you if you are part of the Fruitsy family already. Now, if you aren't, please hit the subscription button, thumbs up and subscribe. We'd love to have you here. I love Amika. There's a few of their products I really love. I've not tried these. So I wanted to try it. The Mirror Ball High Shine. And that's what I washed my hair in today. When my hair gets longer, like at this length, it starts showing some damage from blow drying and hot ironing for probably a month or better. I've been using only high L products on my hair because, well, I'm trying out that brand. But anyway, no disappointment here. I don't have anything bad to say about Amika. I love Amika. And what they sent me in the summer festival box was this Fun Boy Beach Towel. And I'm gonna show you a close up of this so that you can see. It's not a thick, luxurious towel. What it is is a big towel. I mean, it's average you know, about the size of a regular towel this way. But if you're measuring lengthwise, I would say this is two arm lengths for me. If you're my size, your feet are not gonna go off the end of this towel, which I'm only 5'4", but I bet Shy Guy could get on this towel and his feet wouldn't be in the sand. That's a nice beach towel. It will go in the bag of stuff for like when we go somewhere in a hotel and we get to swim in the pool and I bring my own towel. This is the one I'll bring. Homesick Cheers to You Candle, retailing at $25. The Truffle Eye Cream, retailing at $76. Vacation Super Spritz, SPF 50, Face Mist, retailing at $24. RA Bloat Alchemy Capsules, $55. Ririku Resin Coasters, set of four, retailing at $40. The Fun Boy Leisure Pool Club Float, retailing at $39. Beach Riot Missy Travel Duo, retailing at $40. Danny Joe Anklet, retailing at $140. Fenty Beauty, Liquid Kilowatt Fluid Freestyle Highlighter in Vintage Velour or Hustle Baby. <laughs> Retailing at $32. Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Cream Blush in Peach Face or Cupid. Retailing at $26. Here's what I picked. <laughs> Fenty Beauty. You know why? Like I need another blush. But seriously, I mean, you can tell I've been using it. <laughs> Uh, but seriously, I got this because every time I go to Sephora, I see these and I can't help it. It's like, I gotta touch it. And that just sends me off to sanitize my hands again, but I'm like, mm, I gotta go for it. I gotta go for it. I've, and I've always wanted to get one, but I talk myself out of it because I have so many blushes. That is the blush that I have on today. So if you're looking at this color and going, wow, that is scary looking. It's really, really pink. It's like fuchsia, right? Don't be scared of it. Here it is. I'll blend that out for you. Like I said, it's what's on my cheeks today. Happy to have it. Now what they sent me in the summer festival box, I also really like. This never works out. Whenever you get a spray sunscreen, it never works out for me. It like <laughs> all over my face. <laughs> you got splots, you know. Ideally, you've already got your sunscreen on your face if you're outside and you're just kind of touching up with this spritz. And I really like it. It's got that smell. That vacation smell, and looky here, it's like pink and blue for girls and boys. <laughs> right. It's got a nice, even distributed spritz on it. Give it a good shake. It's the first spray sunscreen that hasn't done me bad, even though it isn't mineral. I mean, this is definitely a chemical sunscreen. I've rubbed my eyes and it's not stung them. This has 2.2 fluid ounces in it. But it's broad spectrum, of course. It's water resistant up to 80 minutes, and this gives a beautiful glow to your face. It does. I really, really like this. Sandra Alexandra set of two fruit bottle stoppers retailing at $46. The Machete Midi Heirloom Claw in Jadette 
retailing at $35. Amika Smooth Over Frizz Fighting Treatment, retailing at $32. Sarah Labs Cracked Heel Souffle, retailing at $35.95. Okay, boys and girls, so what did I choose? Amika, yeah. And look at my hair. Now, you probably just don't get this because you don't see my hair right after I blow dry. I like look at myself after I blow dried my hair and go, yep, you're cutting it. Because back when I had long hair, I never used heat on my hair. I would put like Velcro rollers in it and I would just let it air dry. When my hair got short, I started using a blow dryer, a curling brush, a straightener and stuff. So when it gets to be about this length, it's like out of control. It's like frizzing off. I have to really work with it, okay? It's like sticking up and everything. And so I thought, yeah, show it to me, Amiga. I want to see if you can really smooth this over, you know, in the shower. And it did, I think. I think it did a pretty good job. So what you do is you wash your hair, you condition your hair. After you've conditioned your hair, you put this on your hair and you wait for a minute and then you rinse it off. Then you just go style your hair. And it really does smooth over your hair. Now we come to the thing I told you that isn't listed, and that is the Thrive Cosmetics Sheer Strength Hydrating Lip Balm. Remember when I said they may run out of something because, you know, it's a popular choice, and, you know, depending on which membership you have determines when you get in to make your choices, right? Go for annual. <laughs> All right, well, this is one of those things. They obviously were lacking a choice that was shown for this category and they sent me this by Thrive Cosmetics, which I don't have a problem with. I like Thrive Cosmetics. This is very sheer, as you can see. So it's got just a little hint, but it can be built up. So see, I'm gonna just keep doing that. Now you can see it better, right? And keep putting it on, it keeps getting darker. It's very nice, that's how much you get. I've only worn it a couple of times and you, what you saw me swatch. So you get a little bit more than this for $26. It also, doesn't seem to have a sunscreen and I thought maybe it would because they sent me sunscreen and a beach towel and you know stuff that goes along with being at the beach so know that but it's a good lip balm alley -oop 11th hour cream eyeshadow and liner stick in baby pearl retailing at $24 the insert name here that's the name of the brand, insert name here, Sleek Stick Hair Wax Stick for $18, Scent Chewels Natural and Organic Skincare Brightening Body Scrub, retailing at $24, The Bandu Waterproof Cards for $14.95, Freck OG, the original Freckle, $22, Boca Element, <laughs> get it, Element? <laughs> Element and Ha <laughs> Toothpaste and Stainless Steel Tongue Scraper retailing at $20. The Ina Labs Liquid Powder retailing at $28. Earth Harbors Samphire Biotic Perfecting Serum for $45. I chose the Natural Brightening Body Scrub with Vitamin C and Hyaluronic Acid. I like the way this stuff smells. It's got a gentle exfoliator in it so you know I don't mind it at all. So let me show you this really quick so you can see that this comes out liquidy. That's not, do you see the bubbles? Do you see the bubbles? <laughs> that is not a thick substance so when you open that be careful. You're supposed to go in circular motions but obviously you can do that too and you see how that gets cream foamy. The apricot seeds will exfoliate your skin. The aloe and the argan oil will nourish your skin. What they sent me in the summer festival box was this and thank goodness that we have it <laughs> because oh, I've got hair on it because I've been using it. I've been using it like that. It's been driving me crazy. I haven't done that yet because I wanted to do it on camera. Now, you're gonna get your hair on this. Right? You, you'll probably see that in the close-up that <laughs> there's hair on it then, but it's got a light peach scent to it. I put it in all of my hair one day and I quite liked how it looked and it just held it in place for me. I hate having to do this. I'm at that stage with my hair where it wants to just it's got a mind of its own. I don't know, guys. I might go get it cut off before 
I, I can't stand it, but this has been helping. You can just put it on there and it helps hold it down. Or like I've been taking the sides of it are so long now, I've been like taking these little combs and pulling the sides back, but it's not long enough to stay there. So I've been taking this after I get the combs in and going like that and it holds it there. There's a lot in here. Let's run it all the way up. There's a lot of wax in here. I hope it goes back down. <laughs> So unexpectedly, because I got to try this, I would actually pick that over the other one if I had to do it again, knowing what I know. Spectrum Collections Pantherine three-piece eye and face makeup brush set, $25. Truly clear wrinkle-fighting silicone three-piece face set, $29.95. Mama Pots 4.5 inch cylinder pot with water saucer in white sesame for $28. The Gatherall Nipple Covers in Latte Cream Mocha or Noir retailing at $28. Blink Lash Extension Tubing Mascara retailing at $26. Champion Running Cap retailing at $25. And the Swell 16-inch snack container retailing at $23. So if you know me, you know I probably picked the mascara. Right? Now, I wouldn't just pick any mascara. This is Blink's Lash Extension Tubing Mascara. This mascara dates back a long way. Actually, Blink invented the tubing mascara back in the 90s. This was my actual first tubing mascara, and I love tubing mascaras. Some of you know this, that I just love tubing mascaras, and that is what I have on today, is this mascara. I really wanted to try this again to see, am I still in, yes I am, yes I am still in love with the Blink Lash Extension Tubing Mascara. Not disappointed with this. I love this Christmas tree e bendy wand. And if you don't know what tubing mascaras are, they will encase each of your lashes in tubes. All right, and the way you take this off is with warm water. And you just rub like that and all the little tubes float off into the sink to never, never land, okay? You can get this wet, like you could swim in it. I cry in tubing mascara. I would put it down here because it won't transfer down there. Yeah, good choice, good choice. But I would be lying to you if I didn't tell you that I almost chose the thing they sent me for the summer festival, and that was the champion hat. As if I need another ball cap, because I've got quite a few. This is a good brand name. I knew that it would have a good fit and look pretty good on. I'm not gonna put it on right now, but I'll show you a picture of me in this ball cap. And I like to wear ball caps when I'm gonna go for a walk. If you're still here, this is the part where we do the rewind, where I start at the last product coming forward. I'm gonna tell you what I would have paid for that item if I'd have gone in a store, what I'd be willing to cough up for the item. And then of course, we'll total that up and see, was it worth it? For my own choices box, of course, you're probably going, well, I bet she paid full retail for that. Uh-huh, I would give you $26 for this mascara. So we'll come back to the festival box, okay? when we get through mine. Uh, but sticking with the choices that I made, Sensuals Brightening Scrub. You know, I'm enjoying using it, but I think I'll use this up pretty quick. And would I give you $24 for this? Mm -mm. But I would give you 18. Smooth Over from Amika. Yeah, I would totally give you $32 for this. I tend to pay what Amika wants. Now I do go look for it at the TJ Maxx. <laughs> But, you know, if I can't find it there, I go into the Sephora and I cough it up. Same goes for the Fenty Blush. And by the way, I don't think I told you that I chose the shade Crush on Cupid. That's what this is. So you already know from what I said with the smooth over that I'm going to give you. Actually, what I'd probably do is buy the shampoo and not the conditioner. I do that a lot these days. But you know, if I got to, like if it's a set and I go in there and I gotta buy the set, then I would probably give you the $52 because I do that. I don't typically go with shampoos and conditioners from the drugstore. Back to the beginning, here we are with the Vacation Perfume and it retailed for $60 and no. Not that this isn't a good scent. I mean, I, I like it. It's not something that I would reach for a lot though. I don't often wanna smell like I've been at the beach. Maybe if I lived in California, but not in the Midwest. I wanna smell like flowers. So if I were gonna walk in a store and pay for this, I would only give you $30 for this, not 60. So that brings the total of my box, which was retailed at $220, $180. 
$84 for what I would actually pay. Let's do the same thing with the items that they sent me in the summer festival box. Starting back at choice six with this hat. Yep, it retailed for $25 and that's not unreasonable. I pay that kind of money for ball caps all the time. The insert name here, Sleek Stick, uh-huh, I really like this. In fact, if I had all the choices to do over again, knowing what I know now, this is the thing I would have chose. So I will give you $18 for it. In choice four was this Thrive Lip Balm. I would never give you $26 for a lip balm. This is, to me, no better than what I can go to Walgreens and pick up in a lip balm. In fact, I can get one that has an SPF in it. I would give you $15 for this. Tops. I don't pay that for lip balm. And I'd like to tell you that I wouldn't pay $24 for this sunscreen. And I can't tell you that I have never paid $24 for a face sunscreen because I have. It just depends on what things are worth to you whether you would pay. And I, I would pay $24 to have a really nice spray sunscreen that I could keep in my purse for, you know, oh my gosh, my sunscreen is past the two hour mark and sh -sh 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 -sh. I would. That brings us to the beach towel, uh, retailing at $49. And um, nope, I would not, never would I pay $49, $50 for a towel. You know, for any towel. <laughs> I mean, not just a beach towel, but for any towel, I would never pay that. But I would give you 15 for a nice beach towel. And the same goes for these. I would not give you $55 for a pair of sunglasses. And I know you're probably going, wait, wait, Mary, you said, that you have a pair of coach sunglasses. I did, my sister gave those to me. I am not the person who pays a lot of money for sunglasses. And I've got some that are like Gucci, Betsy Johnson, different ones, and I've got them at the TJ Maxx. I give you 15 for these. And that, my friends, brings the retail of $197 on that box down to $112, which, like I said, is still <laughs> more than you would have paid to get to try all the stuff in the box. Here's my code again, all right? If you decide to sign up, I would truly appreciate that. You can find all the links below. And I just wanted to let you know before we get out of here that if you're not having a blessed day, you can get one by being a blessing to somebody else. And Lord willing, I'll see you next time.